Welcome back to Roos, everyone. My name is Bear. Last time we played, we tried to get these very same achievements that are popping up on the screen right now. We're going to try to do so again. We did get a couple of developments just based on the little tiny things we did otherwise. But I have the similar goal here of creating an oceanfront village. Actually, that's not a very good place for the ocean. Let's put it over that way. Uh, we're going to try to create another oceanfront village that has a lot of prosperity. We're going to be having to do other stuff in the meantime. That's something I'm very quickly learning about this game, is the fact that it's really impossible to try and focus on just one thing, like the way it has us doing so right now. Uh, instead, you really need to get every single city going to get the ambassadors raised so you can get your advantages, play to your advantages, and uh, work the game that way. So I'm going to create another ocean over here, just because I have the wherewithal to do so and uh, as soon as he's got his mountain popped up we should have a desert forming uh, somewhere over within this boundary region we'll plant some stuff over there uh, he's gonna do his ocean probably uh, you know what actually let's have him do it right about here that looks like a good spot uh, swamps being created over there the forest giant needs to put down some herbs or a uh, fruit plant rather I'm gonna go ahead and let that grow as the village should settle either there or oh he's gonna be way over here of course that's not where I wanted you man you gotta be by the ocean front oh that's unfortunate oh well well maybe we can get this guy to uh, create herbs in this area to persuade them hopefully into making something closer to the ocean so we do have a forest over here now I think if I got the forest giant over there to plant some more fruit uh, we could get an actual forest of full proportions going. Uh, the granary challenge has started, which is just a bunch of food. That's good for me. I'm going to put some precious minerals down over there just to get a desert village started as well. And uh, these guys could use some domestic animals, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the ocean giant over to do just that very thing. I think if I give them a... Uh, you know what? We should probably put the animals over there. It's probably a better location for them. And they've got this whole boundary going. Uh, I probably actually want to put down... Oh man, what do I want to do here? Because this thing's just going to become wasteland. That's a really bad spot for them to put down the village. I'm really upset with that. I'm tempted to destroy it, but I'm not really too concerned. So, right now we've got these herbs going on. We'll have a nomad again soon. I just need uh, five prosperity to get that going, so I just need to give these guys more food is the honest truth. Uh, you should be going over there yesterday, buddy. Let's get moving. Go like that. Their, their borders are not even yet that far, unfortunately, and their village is taking up the entire space. They really put this in, like, the least desirable position possible. That's really unfortunate. Let's have him put down the domestic animals there. He'll be good to go. The forest giant will be coming over, and uh, he does not have any kind of aspect that we can use for these uh, chickens, unfortunately. I'm going to go for uh, the lesser herd aspect again for this guy. That'll be the Swamp Ambassador whenever we pick him up. Banner Castle settled, which looks like it's our desert area. Uh, he does not have his noble aspect yet. We'll need the Desert Ambassador to get that very thing. And this thing will transmute eventually. They'll probably start a wealth project. Ideally, they'll start a wealth project. Get these blueberries growing. We'll go ahead and give that the leaf aspect. The tool shop challenge, which requires wealth and technology. I can definitely provide for that. Let's put down some advanced minerals over here on this side of these guys. And uh, we'll probably need one more. Actually, you know what? That one advanced mineral section might do it for them. So, got this going here now. Strawberries are good. I'm going to plant down another field of strawberries. Because, yes, their borders have increased, so they'll be good to go. Uh, the granary actually requires quite a bit of food, so uh, that well, that's enough for him. There we go. That'll take care of that issue. And I think we're good to go over here. The granary's going to get all started up. We'll have more prosperity going to get us a new nomad, which will probably settle the swamp. Hopefully, they'll uh, set in in a good uh, or in a better position than the forest village is settled down in. And now uh, we've got everything required for our tool shop as well, so things are going well. I think I might be tempted to create another ocean. Uh, you know, like maybe in this portion here. Because I've already got the forest down. So maybe if I give them another ocean... Hmm. Maybe if I just put it right next door. That way they'll get those ocean tiles 
And uh, that is what we need for this achievement here. We need a village with five ocean patches in its border. So the closer we put that, the better it's going to be for us. So we've unfortunately created uh, quite a bit more forest over here than I intended to, but that's okay. Treeport has settled over here in the swamp area, and they have started a tool shop project as well, which means we need to put a bit more... Uh, stuff over here for technology. We can give that a growth aspect. We can definitely get that going with the ocean giant over here. And we'll plant some more herbs right adjacent to that because I believe... Oh, with minerals next to it. So if we get the rock giant over here, that'll give that a big tech boost. And uh, he is within range, so we'll go ahead and bring him over and put down some advanced minerals right here in the waterfront. That should give it a nice big bonus. And the ocean giant is on his way over here too. Things are looking good. They need more food, though, because I took it away because I planted that ocean down. That is uh, going to help them with their uh, borders goal, though. They already have two of them within the range, so that's good for me. Now I need to have him plant some more fruit somewhere. So let's go ahead and put that down right... Oh, I can't put it there. Darn it. Uh, what are we going to do here? Might have screwed this up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, I can't plant that there, unfortunately. I'm going to have to bring him back and put some fish in there, I guess. Or you know what, actually, what I should probably do is bring him over here and just plant down some uh, some blueberries, considering that's just going to give that a bigger bonus. So we'll wait for that, and in the meantime, we've got this thing we can transmute into tomatoes. Give them more technology. A potent leaf aspect will turn this into a white willow, so we might want to consider that. We have our first ambassador already. Go pick him up in just a second. I need to focus on getting some wealth over here, too, which is what I need this rock giant for anyway, so that's brilliant. We'll have him put down precious minerals right adjacent to this. This got its symbiosis bonus. That's very good. And uh, things are looking up. What can we do here, though? We can give this crystal or reaction, neither of which we have. Uh, the tool is completed. This gives me a desert ambassador, which I definitely want to give. Well, actually, it might not be a definitive thing here. I need a Desert Ambassador to get the Predator Aspect, to get the, uh, well, that doesn't give him any bonus, does it? We get this from him, it gives the Hunt Aspect. Uh, maybe we want to give that to him, I might consider it. He needs to plant this fruit immediately so this granary can get going. I think I'm going to go ahead and give it to the Rock Giant, just because I've gotten a big bonus from doing that in a lot of the games I've been playing already, so that'll be fine for me. Now, the granary is on its way to completion. I think they've got enough food. They don't. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's transmute that into strawberries. I think that's going to be what helps us out the most here. Go like that, and... Uh, oh, boy, this is a problem. Okay, uh, he needs to plant some fruit. No, we can't put it there, because that's where the village borders are. Oh, my goodness, we're in a pickle. Okay, putting some fish down. That's pretty much my only option. Domestic animals in the ocean. That'll be how we have to handle this. Uh, these guys have enough for what they need, so they're going to be fine. They actually got a symbiosis bonus, I think, uh, with 10 wealth in use. Yeah, very good. So that gives that a good thing. And yeah, they're all good to go. What else can I do here? I've got another nomad coming, so I might want to bring the swamp giant over and put some exotic animals in the forest, see what that does for us. Maybe we can get these guys to plant down in a different area. Tool shop is complete over here. We've got a Swamp Ambassador, which gives him the toxic aspect. Uh, you might want to consider that. Let's see what the Forest Giant gets from this guy. Swamp does nothing for him. He gets a uh, herd aspect, and I think that's what I want, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and give that to the Ocean Giant. Now, this is all good, actually. Somehow they just got a bunch more food, so they'll have their granary very shortly. Uh, Predator and Exotic is going to bring us our different kinds of fish over here. All the meanwhile, these guys have their thing done. The granary is completed, and we got a Forest Ambassador. Who freaking Ray? Uh, he gets a fruit aspect from that, which is one that we've done commonly, so we'll go, go ahead and give that to him real fast. Earthshire Clan! Earthshire! That's a Scottish name. We've got a bunch of money here. We're going to wait for them to start their project up. Uh, I think I've got all of my ambassadors assigned now, so things are looking solid. Let's see what we can do now here. If I give these fish a predator or exotic, neither neither of which I have, we'll bring them up. We should probably wait for them to start their next project to figure out what exactly we want to do in that situation, though. School requires technology and food. I can definitely accommodate to that. Let's have him put down some uh, herbs over here. 
We're gonna go like so. And uh, minerals, I believe, give the herbs a bonus, so we'll have him put down some uh, advanced minerals or uh, what else do they need here? They need food, but advanced minerals will probably help him out a lot. And uh, we also need to plant some fruit over there as well. And he has the growth aspect, which is going to be, or, or sorry, the fruit aspect rather, which will help us very much so in short order. If he plants those fruit down there, that might give us just enough to get this school project complete. And uh, we'll have the technology available once he puts down the advanced minerals as well, so that's going to be good to go. The school challenge will be okay. And I think we'll be ready to do some more goodness. So all the requirements are currently being met, or rather they will be very shortly as soon as the forest giant gets his mission completed. Uh, we're still waiting for our uh, nearby forest place to start their new project. This is the one that we really need to build up, because I've already got these guys with three tiles in the ocean. Uh, after having planted a new one over here. We've got another forest area over this way as well, so I'm thinking I might have dominant forest structures here in this particular playthrough. If I just want to put this down right here, we're going to give ourselves uh, three forests, it looks like, out of the uh, potential area that we have. I'm going to go ahead and create more swampland over here as well, because I might as well, given the nature of what we've got going on. Plant that down right there. Uh, the forest giant is going to go do his thing over that way. I've got another new mat nomad already, so uh, there's no point in waiting for something to change. Uh, the tool shop is completed. I think everything's done already. We're just kind of waiting for new things to happen at this point. So that's good to know. He's got his noble aspect, so I think I might want to bring him over and uh, pop open these minerals to better transmutations. Doesn't have crystal, unfortunately. You don't have reaction either. Crystal is a forest ambassador. Oh, no, sorry. It's the uh, it's the swamp giant, I believe. No. Uh, maybe him? Yeah, it's the ocean giant. Okay, so we need to give him a uh, forest ambassador to get that. Might want to consider that. And we have the option now. Although, uh, actually, I think the swamp giant has to take this guy because he's the only one that doesn't have an ambassador. So we'll go ahead and give that to him and get the reaction aspect, which is actually one that I've wanted to toy with. So I'm kind of glad we got that one. In fact, yeah, we can give this more tech if we use a reaction aspect on it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right away as soon as I get that going. You are going to plant fruit right here so we can get yet another forest place going, and uh, I'm going to be just fine and dandy with that right now. So, Swamp Giant has his ambassador. I'm going to go ahead and put the reaction aspect on these minerals. Transmute this to copper, and uh, that's going to be good. Give us a little bit of a bonus. I don't know if that actually helped very much, but that's okay. Uh, gives it plus 10 tech if next to an animal. So uh, what I might actually want to do here is change this little spot into a uh, an exotic animal patch. That'll give this a symbiosis right here, and uh, yeah, that'll be good to go. If I give this exotic or predator, I wonder if I have either of those. I think I have herd, and uh, yeah, this is that's one of those swamp giant ones, unfortunately. Exotic is this guy, yeah, so he needs a forest ambassador for that. I should be getting a nomad over here in short order. I'm not exactly sure where he's wandering around at, but we'll soon find out, I'm sure. Workshop challenge has started over here for Banner Castle. They need a lot of food, a lot of wealth, and a lot of tech. Holy cow, this is going to be crazy. So uh, they have actually borders out to here, so what I can do is immediately plant some fruit in this general vicinity. They need a lot more food than anything else, unfortunately, and that's going to be tough to pr provide for in the desert. Uh, reaction aspect is going to give this more tech, so uh, that's pretty much the only option I have. It's the only unlock that I have available to bring these things up anymore. Uh, if I put down more animals there, that would be helpful as well. In fact, domestic animals are probably my best bet, considering they need more food as well. So I'm going to put those down immediately adjacent to the tech tree. And uh, they can reach all the way up to the top of the mountain. That's fantastic. Uh, what I'm going to do here is give these a fertility boost. Give that the fruit aspect. And then I should be able to turn this into potentially a pear tree if it all goes well in my mind. I'm going to go like that. And there we go. It gives that a ton more food than usual. It also gets more food if this plant is next to another pear tree. So if we can create that, I don't think their border is going to quite reach out to the point where we could get that going as well as I want to. Uh, transmute that into the copper. That gives them a lot more tech. That's beautiful. Uh, giving these guys exactly what they need. The rock giant actually should probably come over here and try to get this going as well with some more advanced minerals. 
We'll give that the reaction aspect as well, and things will be going great. I'm going to plant that right there, wait for the fertility boost, and in the meanwhile, we can see what the workshop challenge needs over here. It's the exact same thing, actually, so that's no problem at all. Uh, we can focus on that in just a little bit. Meanwhile, we need to really focus on getting these guys going so we don't have to worry about that in the future. Uh, if I can change this, uh, waiting for the fertility boost still. These guys put down some animals, which gives this another tech boost. Doing the same thing with the reaction aspect up here, which is going to give it yet another tech boost. And these guys actually can reach out to there already, so that's brilliant. And transmute to that, and everything's going to go swimmingly. They've got a ton of tech, and they need some more wealth. How are we going to do that for him, I wonder? Um, well, what we can do immediately is, uh, well, the fertility boost is nearly there. Just wait for that. Just a hot second. There we go, and we give that that very thing! Give it to the fruit aspect, and hopefully turn that into a uh, potent fruit aspect. Pear tree field, and they'll have more than enough food to get by for their particular endeavor. Very good, alright, so we've got all the food we need for this thing. If only they had one more border expansion, that would be wonderful. Uh, we're gonna have to find out a way to give these guys more wealth. I don't know if I need as much tech as I've given them, and it might be better off for me if I just give them some precious minerals instead of the animals that I've put down right here. The Martin can't even be transmuted, so it's not nearly as useful as I thought. Alright, so we're gonna give that the noble aspects immediately. Hopefully get these guys up to an onyx, that would be uh, absolutely desirable. Very good, okay, so they've got quite a bit more wealth coming out of that now. They need a little bit more than they're getting though, which I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that for them. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to have to wait for them to expand their borders one more time because I don't see a really a way of getting it done unless we can give this a noble aspect and get it up to onyx as well. Although I'm not sure if uh, that's going to be enough, that might just be short of the goal. We'll have to take a look at the plantation going on in the other uh, cities here, too. I'm gonna wait for this to come up, give this the topaz and the onyx, and that is just enough. That is beautiful. Oh, thank you, glorious thunder gods of war. This is fantastic. They have over their max research, but apparently that doesn't matter too much. Now, the plantation is being built over here. They need four plants in the area. So uh, I think their borders have expanded just a touch, so we can get the forest giant over here to get things rolling. Let's plant yet another fruit right here in this spot adjacent to the other ones. That will give them the four plants, and I think that might even give them the food they need to get this going. Uh, these guys need a uh, lesser exotic, lesser herd, predator, or lesser hunt. So uh, let's see, I have the exotic aspect, I believe. No, I have the uh, herd aspect. So let's bring him over and give these fish a what for. Even more blueberries in this area, and I think I might actually want to transmute these. Uh, gives it more food next to, next to a strawberry. You know what? I might want to leave that as it is. In fact, I'm considering turning these into another patch of blueberries, although I don't think that would have nearly as much of a benefit. If I turn this into a pear tree... You know what? That's actually worth considering. The pear trees are probably the very best thing that I can create over here. So let's go ahead and try to give this a potent fruit aspect by giving it a fertility bonus real fast. Uh, he's going to create some new fish over here with the transmutation. Uh, those turned into parrot fish, which turns it into wealth. I'm an idiot. Oh, that's bad. All right, I'm going to have to replant those or uh, re-domesticate these animals, rather. Redo. Potent fruit turns into a pear tree, which is excellent. And uh, you know, I'm probably going to have to turn this in just into an orchard of pear trees. That's basically going to be the only way that I can make this work. Uh, to give these guys more food, I need to give them a lesser predator or a lesser hunt, neither of which I actually have. So uh, I've got the blueberries going on right here. I'm just going to try to give this a potent fruit just by luck of the draw. Get it up to apple tree, and we didn't get the potent fruit, unfortunately. We can try again. I don't know if that actually makes any difference here. Yeah, no, it didn't, but it did give it a little bit of a bonus, so I guess that's better than nothing. Uh, we can try to replant it, I guess. That's really my only option, as I'm still waiting for my fertility boost. In the meantime, let's have a look at the barracks. They need 80 food and 80 tech. Holy cow, that's going to be crazy. Uh, what can we do to make that happen? This is going to be intense. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to succeed in that particular challenge. These guys are going to get this thing done uh, eventually. Oh, you know what? Their tech is going down. That stinks. Are their borders expanding? They're not. Oh, no, this is bad. 
This is very bad. All right, here's what we need to do. We need to tear down. Oh, they need that one pear tree. They can't take it out. Oh, no. What do we do here? This seems impossible. We need some kind of symbiosis to work out, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Well, this is really unfortunate, but at the same time, I still need to just really focus on getting these guys going. So, uh, let's not worry about that one for now. Let's focus instead on this. This guy needs to get... What does he need to get to uh, get his predator aspect? No, the hunt aspect gives him more food. He needs a desert ambassador, which is exactly what I'd be getting from this. All right, time out. Let me think about this for a moment. All right, the simplest solution that I've thought of right away is the fact that I can just destroy this particular thing that they're working on and uh, force them to make something new, which isn't the nicest thing to do, but I feel like it's kind of necessary considering I, I don't have enough time and or... Uh, oh, what in the hell am I doing? I didn't need to do that much destruction. Oh, he destroyed him! Oh, God! That was... That wasn't part of the plan. Okay, well, we'll try that one again. In the meantime, let's see what we can do here. They got These guys need more food. They have the strawberry bonus. They need... Oh, that's right. We need to give this a fertility boost and turn this into a pear tree. All right, Hammer Dam is immediately resettled here in the uh, forest area. That's not exactly what I wanted, but I guess that'll work. Uh, we're going to create a whole bunch of forest ambassadors. That's not really great. Uh, fruit aspect right here. And then, hopefully, we'll create an orchard of pear trees. Because this reaches all the way out to here, so if I can do that, that's going to be brilliant. All right, there we go. Massive bonus, and they almost have what they need. So uh, if I just replant this right here, that might do the trick. Gives them a little bit more of a bonus. I'm going to wait for the fertility boost again, and meanwhile, check over at the school challenge. And they uh, already have everything they need, minus the technology. Just going to go ahead and put down some or some uh, herbs, rather, to get that going. Put that right next to the building, just because there's not really a potential of symbiosis with that. Wait for the fertility boost still. Uh, this guy can't do anything with these things. They need a predator or a hunt. And they don't have either of those. This guy gets the predator with the desert ambassador. The desert ambassadors are really what I need. Fortunately, there's not really a chance of getting that. Toxic aspect would be awesome here, too. Man, this is a bummer. All right, well, they've got this thing going on, so I don't really need to worry about that anymore. These guys need a fertility boost here, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I think it's... Oh, my goodness, it takes so long. Uh, you know what? I could just try it again and see, hopefully, if I get it. Give that to this, and didn't get the pears, and that's still short of what we need, so we're going to go have to go ahead and replant this one, give it the fertility boost as soon as it replants itself. Go like this, and then drastically increase our chances of getting that fruit aspect up to where we need it. I'm gonna go like this. After the fertility boost has taken effect, give that the apple tree transmutation into a pear tree, and there we go. All right, now they have just enough to get their granary finished, and hopefully they can really climb those ranks. In fact, we might want to consider giving them yet another pear tree to uh, get this moving faster. I wish I could get these turned into something different. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. I have yet another Nomad coming in, so maybe I should try to focus on getting another desert thing planted. That's probably within my best interest, so let's go ahead and uh, have him put down some precious minerals right over here on the other side, and maybe the Nomad will wander over into that area. That school is going to be completed easily. Uh, this granary really needs to hurry up. Uh, he needs the fertility boost to come back. These guys are still working on this thing that I'm probably never going to finish in my lifetime, but I guess I could give it a whirl. Uh, let's bring the Swamp Giant over here and see if he can get some things going. They need for their project uh, some food, wealth, and technology. So uh, perhaps if I can give this something cool, lesser toxic or lesser growth. Growth I can definitely do. Where is my growth aspect? I think that is from the, yeah, that's the Forest Giant. So let's go ahead and put that down right there. And school is complete, and I got an ambassador from it, which is a forest ambassador, which is going to, uh, you know, we could get level two of that. That'd be cool, but that's not entirely necessary. If I give it to him, that is a good option. So we'll give him the forest ambassador, which unlocks the crystal aspect, gives uh, mineral more wealth and awe, which is neato mosquito. Now, uh, this guy has done this for uh, this thing, so, uh, oh, you know what, actually, I don't think he really did it. No, he did do it, but we just didn't get it well enough. Oh, he didn't do the right one. That's not a growth aspect. I'm a dummy. Oh, I totally ruined that. Oh, well. Let's give this a fertility boost and uh, get these guys even faster. Oh, this really needs to hurry. Okay, so I need to run over here, actually, and get this planted thing quickly, quickly, quickly. This village is my only shot. 
I need to get a village with five ocean tiles and 200 prosperity, and my only chance is going to be with this thing right here. So let's make sure this granary gets built right away. Apple tree and pear tree needs to go up immediately. There we go. The maximum is much higher, and they have 30 seconds to get five more food. Please hurry, guys. I need you to get cracking. Cracking. Hurry up. Come on. I'm just going to watch you. I'm just going to watch you. You got to do this. Don't you leave me hanging here, man. Come on. 18 seconds. Get two more food. One more food. You can do this. You can do this. Come on. Come on, freaking Banner Valley. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Oh, don't you do it. There we go. Oh, my God. That was that was intense. All right. Well, got another forest ambassador. Can give it to uh, this guy, which will give him nothing good. Uh, the rock giant can take it and get this thing. That's cool. Exotic aspect. Yeah, I haven't had that one yet. I'm totally down with that. Look at all this food they're producing, man. These guys better boost up quick, yo. For real. For real. What can we do here? Give them lesser exotics to give them more wealth or predator or hunts. And I don't have any of those, I don't think. If I got him a desert ambassador, which is not going to happen in this lifetime, I could do that. So, uh... Let's see what else we can focus on, I guess. The barracks might be something I can make happen. Let's put some more food and tech over here. We'll make this thing work. Uh, get, get ourselves a little bit more prosperity before things completely shatter down and break. Uh, give these guys more fruit. Uh, oh, yeah, look at their borders. They're freaking everywhere. Uh, so we can give this the growth aspect, actually, and turn this into a pear tree if we wanted to. Uh, might actually just create that whole section over here, because they need a lot more food than they have, so probably consider that. Oh, they need to win a war for this. You know what? I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that project, guys. Scrap it. Start something anew. No good. What else can we do here? Need these guys to be boosted up quickly. And I don't know if I'm even going to get there. If I put an exotic aspect on the fish, maybe I should put more fish down. That's probably for the best. These guys are growing their border, so they have one more space over here. I should wait until they start another project, although uh, it might start in that one empty space, so I'd have to probably rework everything here. They might do a harbor. Oh, uh, the barracks challenge failed. That was fast. Yeah, that wasn't even... Oh, that's right. I destroyed it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. Uh, I don't even feel bad. Let's see. Waiting for... Uh... Oh, these guys have something going on, too. I completely abandoned them. Oh, boy. Well, that one's going to fail. I ain't got no chance in hell for completing this. Um, waiting for these guys, man. I need them to boost up quickly. Uh, I've got an arrow with a village with 250, one with 175. I might get this. If I'm lucky, I might get that. So uh, I'm really hoping we can get things going over here, plant some more domestic animals eventually. Uh, herd aspect gives these guys what? Uh, lesser herd gives them parrotfish, which will give them wealth. Their homes provide a boost for wealth and tech depending on diversity. If we give them more mackerels, that's really all it needs to grow for food. Uh, these guys might get greedy if they get more food than they actually need, though. Look at that. Wow. That is an awesome bonus. You know what? If we put one more right here, they wouldn't get the ones over here, but they would still get a massive boost from these guys over here. That's cool. I like that. Uh, their prosperity is rapidly growing now. Look at this here. They might do it. Holy cow. I would be so happy. If we could get this 200 Prosperity 5 Ocean Patches thing, because they have 1, 2, 3, 4, and they need that one more, and I think if they grow just a little bit... I almost rhymed three times unintentionally there, that's okay. If I can get this thing going right there, their patches are going to grow hopefully very soon. I think there should be a way for me to actually see whether or not their patches or their borders are going to expand. Uh, but there's definitely not a way to get this any closer to the ocean, so you would think that this would allow me to do it. I really hope so, at least. Prosperity is over 175, which means we have indeed gotten the Chosen People achievement for this run. This is brilliant. Makes me very happy. Oh, man, if we can get things going over here, this is going to be a cool run right here. Uh, I'm not going to get any more ambassadors, I don't think, because we've created way too much conflict. Uh, amongst the villages. These guys are the only ones that are working on anything, actually, and they're going to be dead in 30 seconds, so don't matter none at all. Uh, putting more mackerels over here actually is going to give me even more food, so uh, let's see. I've got fish in... Uh, what do I got here? I got fish in this one. I uh, don't have anyone in this one, so let's go ahead and put some more fish right there. I am just freaking overpopulating this ocean with fish. It's so beautiful. 
Please, guys, expand your borders just once more. Oh, I'm almost at 500 prosperity. This is brilliant. I've got 500. Workshop challenge failed. I did this in the most ass-backwards way imaginable, but that's okay. I still feel good about the accomplishments I've made. I have gotten the fishing village with 200 prosperity. They need one more ocean tile, though, and I don't know how to make them get it. Oh, God. What do we do? Barracks challenge has started. Let's see what that or what we're going to do with that before we all go to sleep in 30 seconds. Uh, nothing. Nothing is going to happen as a result of that. Oh, well. Workshop challenge failed. That's a disaster. This isn't going to do it, is it? They're not going to expand their borders. Maybe if we put down, like, some freaking precious minerals right over here. Nope, he's falling asleep. All right, you. Put down animals. Put down animals quickly. Run. Don't you die on me, buddy. No. Oh, man. Oh, they didn't do it. They didn't do it. How did they not do it? They were so close. And their prosperity is climbing, but I'm dead now. Oh, my goodness. I was so close to getting two. But I got one. Oh, wait a minute. It did give it to me. Woohoo! That's surprising. Did I get it? Phosphorus exists in the swamp and transmutes from copper and salt. Uh, that's cool. Okay, well. I swear that didn't actually happen, but I'll take it if the game wants to give it to me. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Roos. My name's Bear. Next time, we'll tackle that giant prosperity challenge once more without the restriction of the ocean, thank goodness. I'll see you then.